But where do you see inflation going from a consumer perspective? Can prices just keep rising in this environment? Well, that depends very much on uh, fiscal policies. And as you hinted at, uh, it will depend mostly on the Federal Reserve. But you understand the Federal Reserve has abused its power for the last 40 years. For the last 40 years, they have pursued monetary policies that encourage consumption and that encourage asset bubbles. And we have evidence of that. They created an asset bubble uh, with the housing market between 2003 and 2007. And then after the great financial crisis, they started in December 2008 with QE1. At the time, I was asked when that would end. And I said, this is not QE1, it's QE infinity. Because once you embark on money printing, it's very tough to uh, abandon, to stop printing money unless you are prepared to take a significant recession. And this is now where we are today. The Fed, in my opinion, will increase interest rates, maybe 50 basis points. And over the next six to nine months, maybe to 1%, maybe one one quarter. But then things could get so bad in the asset markets. Because as you know, mortgage rates have almost doubled from the lows that we had 18 months ago. So you don't think the Fed's going to go up to two and a half or two and three quarter percent like they're threatening to do? You think, you know, before the end of the year, you think they're going to sh stop short of that? Even two and a half or three percent would not curtail inflation because uh, we have in California at Stanford University an economist, uh, John uh, Taylor, and he established uh, a well-known model to calculate interest rates, the Taylor rule. According mm -hmm. to that rule, interest rates, the Fed fund rate should be over 9%. <laughs> over 9%. Yeah. Do you think the Fed will go to 9%? Never. No. Nope. Nope. Absolutely so, not. So, you know, it's like in the 70s. Uh, everybody laughs about Robert Burns, who was at the time Fed chairman and they say well he was a dove and didn't the tighten monetary policy but when inflation was as high as it is now he increased the fed fund rate to 11 percent i'm saying we're headed into an inflationary spiral that is unstoppable for the time being also because of the stupidity of government officials you have to see this ESG, environment, social and governance issue, that increases the price of everything. And if you have uh, embargoes against Russian oil, Russian resources and so forth and so on, you can become, of course, you can become energy independent. We can all have uh, solar panels on the roof and windmills in the gardens. And on Hollywood Boulevard, we can have some windmills as well. But the cost is incredible. And what is cost efficient? Nuclear power, they don't want. That mm -hmm. they don't want. Right, right. The so, Keystone Pipeline, they don't want. I know. This is government policies, especially under Mr. Biden. Regulatory environment has become a disaster in the U.S. Yes, stagflation was very good because the economy did not contract. My view is that we are already in recession. Now, not for the rich people and not for government officials whose salaries will always go up. What I'm saying is the Federal Reserve is the arsonist. They put on the inflationary fires they put on bubbles, they create bubbles, and then when everything collapses, they come in and says, look, because of us, it's not worse than it already is. That's what the Fed does. The Fed and other central banks are criminal organizations.
the the world has gone through lots of civil wars it's gone throughout history wars where the participants in the war occasionally change sides and during periods of enormous wealth destructions before we continue help us clicking that youtube like button and subscribe now to our channel this shows the algorithm that you valued this information and it helps us spread that message sharing is caring and now let's continue i have bad news for you if you're not rich by now you're screwed and if you're in debt you're even double screwed how so you might wonder well the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich the mega corporations the banks the politicians everyone is getting richer they get your money and what is even worse they get your time they get your life you are not even in a rat race you're in a financial prison but what could a solution for you look like honestly i don't know but i know what a solution for me would look like it's very simple i use whatever money i have and i multiplied with 1000 this could make my life much easier and probably yours as well if you have 1000 dollar available and multiply this with 1000 i believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other of course if you're ugly you would have to multiply it with much more than 1000 my name is marco stan and this is what i decided to do i decided to 1000x my money this is not a joke i know what you may be thinking you what what is this guy talking about you how should this work this is not possible well i made a detailed video where i laid out my plan and some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what i do this is just a little hint on the side you have two options you leave you forget what you have seen you do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address, and I see you on the other side. Your Marco Stan.